Hello and welcome. I'm your host Ruby Gill, and I feel honored to welcome you all on the behalf of lovely professional university. So, Teddy, what do you think the sense of today's webinar? Well, I'm glad to share with much excitement that today our expert will deliver her expertise and make us learn about exploring career in BTEC Honor CSC full stack software development with geeks for geeks. So I'm sure you are as much excited as I am. So for the today's learning process, so for that, kindly allow me to introduce our experts. Mr. Makul Mahajan, Assistant Professor, School of Computer Science and Engineering, lovely professional university. With an experience of more than 10 years as an academician, his expertise lies in programming, data structures, algorithms, and wireless sensor networks. So, sir, thank you so much for joining us today. I would also welcome, like to welcome. Thank you, sir. I would also like to welcome our industry expert, Ms. Shalini Gildhar, Associate Project Manager at Geeks for Geeks, a motivational specialist and a leader who has shown her skills to improve company revenue and market exposure. Ms. Shalini is having an experience of five years in planning, developing, and implementing project operations and business development along with the sustained long-term growth. So ma'am, thank you so much for giving us your valuable time. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for such a humble introduction. Furthermore, yeah. I would like to welcome our admission expert, Ms. Rachna Bajrat, Senior Assistant, lovely professional university. And attendees today, she'll give you an insight of eligibility, fee, and scholarship, which I'm sure will make you save a lot of money. And in addition to that, she'll also be sharing the infrastructure part of the university. So thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us today. So with this, we'll begin our today's webinar. I welcome you all again to the webinar and looking for a great interactive session. So over to you, Ms. Shalini Gildir, ma'am, for the content of the day. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for such a humble introduction. And yeah, so guys, we are going to understand how this new stack of technologies named as full stack software element is actually the need of the hour. In our old days, what we used to do is we were told that we can have an expertise on just one technology and we can go with the flow. So for these days, we actually need a proper tech stack to further more in the education. All right, so where comes the picture that is BTEC honors with full stack software development along with LPU. Now, how this program is actually going to be different? That is a very foremost conversation with us. Now, let us understand who are we? Who is Geeks for Geeks? So Geeks for Geeks is one of the top computer science portal. They are basically designing a lot of tutorials, articles, live online classroom courses, frequent coding competitions, webinar by industry experts, and a lot of international opportunities, as well as job opportunities with us. So this is Geeks for Geeks for all of you. So let us understand how this program is going to help you in furthermore placements as well as career growth. So what is full stack development? So basically when we talk about full stack development, we always understand it as a front end and back end development along with uh, just for the web application. But in this course, if we talk about full stack software development, we are talking about developing the entire application, whether it is a web application or an application that you're designing on offline purposes, just like a software. So basically, what is the tech? Uh, basically, what is the tech stack of these developers? Basically, they know all the technologies. They will learn all the technologies along with the life projects to understand the functional knowledge so that from start to end, they can design any project. So I think it's interesting for any organization to have a person who has the knowledge of all the things. Now coming to the point, what is the curriculum? How this curriculum is industry oriented? So if you talk about the year wise segregation in the first year, we have incorporated Python as a programming language along with software engineering techniques 
plus database basics, where you can actually brush up your skills with the core concepts of programming and DBX. And coming to the part, every year you will be allotted with a lot of perks with Geeks for Geeks with this industry oriented curriculum. Coming to the second part, you will be starting with the root of any placement activity, any company's uh, tech stack, that is data structure and algorithms. And along with it, we'll start our journey with the competitive coding programming. Because every, every company, whether it can be mom or any product-based or service-based industry, requires competitive coding as a part of their placement assessments. Now, coming to the part, one more important factor that will be coming in your to you in the second year, that is artificial intelligence, which will be catered by LP. Now, I don't think so. I have to introduce you to artificial intelligence or machine learning. This is the actually demand of the day. Coming to the third year, you will be introduced to Java advanced concepts, microservices, React applications for the front end development, ORM tools and techniques, and again, competitive coding with the progressive tips and tricks. So if I talk about competitive coding again, it will be till your third year so that you can practice along with for your placement assistance, which is basically the first round of any interview or any placement activity. Coming to the fourth part, DevOps and deployment is very important. When you are okay with the front-end development and you are actually learning for the back-end, that is the struts and the Node.js part, you also need mobile app development plus MVC frameworks. So in these four years, you're actually getting a tech stack that is running in the industry for the current scenario. I hope uh, there are no questions till now. No, ma'am, not yet. We'll take the queries after the uh, completion of your presentation, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. So this was all in the four years. What will be there apart from these curriculum activities? So we will be offering you six certifications along with it. One certification per semester or per year depending upon the curriculum that you guys are following. That will be Python Programming Foundation, JavaScript Foundation, Java Programming Foundation, SQL Foundation, and complete bootstrap in the end of the session. So that when you come out with the LPU degree of PTech honors, you also have six certification along with you to build your resume in a more powerful manner. All right, what next? Just that, no. Geeks for Geeks is coming with more interesting factors that will actually enhance your programming skills as well as industry skills to go with the companies ahead. Coming to the part, first will be the live industry projects. Every, every programming language or any kind of curriculum is inbuilt with live industry projects that actually run. Secondly, you'll also be getting 24 into 7 doubt assistance. Interesting, right? For example, if you're running late or if you have missed a class or you are studying late at the night and you're stuck at somewhere, what to do? You can definitely go to Geeks for Geeks, enroll into your course and ask doubt anywhere. Within 24 hours, your doubts will be resolved. Coming to the part, company specific problem solving. These days in BTEC, what will happen is we learn to understand the conceptual knowledge. That is also important. but when you talk about placements, when you talk about getting into the career ahead, we do require problem solving that is industry oriented. The problems that we actually face in real life scenarios. So company specific problem solving will be there with the curriculum that is incorporated. Webinar by top industry experts. Every month you'll be getting a free webinar with us with top industry experts working in Microsoft, Uber, Google, and a lot more. Roadmap to placement preparation. After starting from the first year, you will be under, you will be guided how to prepare for the placement from the beginning, so that there is no hush hush in the coming fourth year. Mm -hmm. Now, what you can do after becoming full stack developer or completing this course? Just a moment, please. All right. So, what will be the career pathways ahead? what you can become if you are done with the course. You can be a full stack developer, a front-end developer, back-end developer, web developer, test automation engineer, DevOps specialist, Java developer, cybersecurity specialist, a business analyst, a system admin. These are the top career options that are actually chosen by the candidates after completing this kind of course. But this is not it. 
you can be a product manager you can be a product analyst you can be a project manager and a lot of senior or junior developer positions where you can work as a front end developer or a back end developer so with this tech stack you can work at any product based company as well as service based company now how will your career growth will look like you will start as a fresher it may be if you are going for a software development you can go for sda1 if you are looking for something else you can be a member of technical staff in microsoft or some good company or a junior developer in any organization when you learn when you enroll in an experience definitely from 3 to 5 years down the line you will be tagged as a senior developer an sd2 or a full stack web developer now what happens when you are actually along with the 10 years tech lead technical architect project manager or product manager or sd3 this is the graph that goes with 5 to 10 years of experience now if you are more than 10 years of experience definitely you will be at a position of a cto a chief technical architect director or a vp at a company so how does this sound to you how does this comes to you definitely this kind of career growth even i do want it now coming to the part what is the surety that actually company hires this one let us understand the placement statistics that we have actually overview now coming to the part how this industry oriented pedagogy actually help the students to get placed so as per our records from various colleges and collaboration we have actually placed 83.9% of the students few of the students actually went for the higher studies that will be the masters program and few of them who actually did not take the things or attended the sessions properly and did not follow the instructions given by our instructors actually are still struggling to get the placements definitely they have been offered a uh, good placements in little startups but they have not accepted the offer till now coming to the part how was the package the placement doesn't actually matter it matters the package or the salary that you have been offered according to our metrics we have been offered more than 11 lp salary all right the package was 41% actually got 11 lpa salary and 35% actually got 7 to 11 lpa and 5 to 7 lpa were given to the rest of them and few of them that is 3% were less than 5 lpa in service oriented company they are still looking for better opportunities and the highest package that we have offered and our students were offered were 18 lpa coming to the part who are the companies who actually hired these candidates So this is the recruitment stack that we have. We have recruitment from these many companies in various colleges, off campus and on campus, depending upon. It's a mixture of product-based organization, little startups, and service-based industries. We have Mango over here. We have Oracle. We have Deloitte. We have Wipro, and a lot of companies. So you can be one of them who can be placed in one of the companies over here. If you have any queries, kindly share. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, this was very impactful presentation by you, and you have bonded well with, with uh, us with your visionary thoughts. And uh, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. We have few queries from our attendees. So, with your permission, we'll take up those queries. Sure. All right. So, uh, ma'am, there is a uh, query from Shushant Avasti. Uh, he wants to know that any specific kind of instructions for uh, freshers. those students those who are coming directly from a uh, 10 plus 2 to secondary uh, secondary education definitely when you are coming as a freshman to be honest you guys are actually have no uh, kind of it's kind of a base that needs to be created so this is the best time to enroll for such technologies we already know that everything is going to be technical dependent in soon probably 2030 will be or everything will be technically dependent so this actually this program is going to be your key to be honest if you are having the knowledge of back end and front end and understanding the dbms understanding artificial intelligence the all tech stack is going to help you ahead whenever it is as i told you in my previous uh, slide you have been knowing that 
you have every opportunity from business analyst to becoming a developer if i share my story shashank i was supposed to learn developer and i in my days i was said that you need to be either c++ developer or a java developer but to be precise i always wanted to be a project or a product manager so i went for the technology that i loved and single technology was uh, just enough they were this but in this context you need to be catching up with at least a kind of set a tech stack that gives you freedom to develop the whole application and i should tell you why should uh, why it should be done because eventually um, most of the students are also going for the entrepreneurship part so if you are going to be an entrepreneur also you need a kind of tech stack that is coming all along with this course all right thank you so much ma'am so we'll take up another query that is uh, from gurmeher she wants to know that will there be any online certification courses as well offered from geeks for geeks yes there will be these are the certification that will be provided to you all every semester you will be given a course link with the free access to it and after completion of those course in that semester you will be getting a certificate which will be actually useful for you as a kind of knowledge gain as well as showing it on your resume which adds up to the value all right thank you so much so ma'am we'll take up another very interesting question uh, so the question is that uh, from uh, meher he she wants to know that will lpu faculty will teach us or the industry specific person will come over here and teach us so what is the all teaching process so in terms of teaching our industry experts will be coming to your campus and teaching you offline with as i told you we'll be solving company specific problems we'll be doing live projects so industry experts will be coming to your campus and they'll be teaching you along with lpu faculties which will be teaching you along uh, like elective subjects and other few subjects which will be taught by lpu uh, subject experts but the curriculum will follow same as an industry oriented curriculum they will be following company specific problem solving and doubt service uh, doubt support assistance will also be there for all the courses that will be catered by geeks for geeks Thank you so much, ma'am. So we'll take up another query. Uh, ma'am, the attendee wants an attendee wants to know that uh, will there be any other apart from academics? Will there any be any other activity or any other thing they have skill they have to gain for being an industrial ready uh, professional? Yes, definitely. I'll be uh, sharing one more thing. I was to, supposed to add it over here. see apart from having a good tech stack you also need your personal grooming which lp will be helping us along the way you must be knowing how to groom yourselves how your resume should be built how to crack interviews what are the kind of tips and tricks that you actually helps you there are times i have seen lot of candidates lot of students who are really really good at what they are doing but they are not able to express the knowledge they are not able to understand the need of the hour the kind of Uh, you know personality development that they require so these kind of uh, sessions will be held under the roadmap to placement preparation where they'll be understanding what are the importance of what subjects and how the subjects can be expressed and what questions need to be prepared in terms of behavioral uh, and uh, kind of operational things where they need to answer in the interviews so yeah apart from text tag you do need a kind of set of behavioral skills and personality skills along with communication skills so start preparing yeah. for the same and uh, i guess we have uh, a soft skills subject as uh, in uh, this program so definitely it will help you out definitely ma'am with soft skills we have um, in our university that is student welfare wing where we like you know uh, the indebted talent of a student there that is the block where that indebted talent of a student has been explored the student can go for any extra curricular curricular activities and that i think i believe that these kind of activities will boost confidence in the student and that will definitely help in the industrial phase of that person so yeah so attendees you need not to worry about it lpu is so much versatile that we deeply think about your holistic development so you need not to worry about uh, about anything 
so once you come here you will be uh, gifted with every quality to be an industrial ready person so uh, yes ma'am we'll take up another query that is from amit agarwal he wants to know that uh, how much old this program is that is there any other placement happened with this program is this a fresh program introduced to the attendees or ma'am that uh, earlier this was also introduced to the university uh yes it has been introduced already uh, from previous years i guess uh, makul will correct me over here makul sir can we have you over here yes ma'am uh, actually the batch was started in 2021 this is the second batch uh, we are having first year only and the first year students are going to be joining second year now so in 2022 we will be having the second batch so as for now uh, we are having the two batches so sorry to interrupt you your voice is uh, not clear the audio is not clear uh, ma'am am i audible now Yes, sir. You are now loud. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I was saying there are two batches running. First is 2021, and second, which which we are going to start from 2022 now. So already one batch is going on. They are going to be in second year now. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. And we are hoping for great placement with this program. All right. Uh, yes, so, ma'am, there is another. Yes, sir. So there is another query from An Anita Sodi. she wants to know that uh, more about the software engineer uh software engineering is basically as a subject we need to understand uh, when somebody is developing a software we need to understand the process software if you want to be a software engineer definitely you know understand the kind of models that we follow what can be the risks that is incorporated in following a project in following uh, in developing a software so these are kind of the skills that you require when you talk about uh, weeks for weeks program will help you in this concept you will be learning software engineering uh, skills in the first just a moment you'll be actually learning for uh, software engineering skills in the first year itself so you'll be before understanding the dsa part which is required for developing any kind of software or project you'll be able to understand what is the process of creating a software so that is basically software engineering and if you're looking for a career in software engineering definitely you must be aware of dsa that is the core root where the software develops and the process that we can follow to optimize the software development so this is a major uh, areas which should do, you should be looking about plus you should also be having one uh, kind of a uh, design thinking concepts along with you because every software requires a kind of creativity and a kind of scalability that we needs to measure before coming uh, to uh, a decision to develop a software or uh, solving a problem in real life so definitely that is that Thank you so much, ma'am, for resolving all the queries of our attendees. And now we'll quickly move to our admission expert, Ms. Rachna Bajaj. So, ma'am, over to you for the admission part of the university. Thank you so much, Ms. Ruby. I'll just quickly share my screen. Yes, ma'am, it is visible. okay so good afternoon everyone i hope you all are doing fine and safe at your home so i'll be just quickly sharing the glimpse of the university which you will be joining this year or most probably in the coming years so first up in the list we have elview creating history when 12 out of 13 elview students participated in Olymp olympic met olympic tokyo olympics and brought laurels to india moving ahead with the rankings because i suppose this is the most important aspect the students should be considering before choosing any institute any university first up in the list we have the times higher education impact rankings 2022 where elpu has been ranked 74 globally moving ahead with some other feathers the nirf ranking 2022 where elpu has been ranked 51st especially for engineering among all government and private institutions of india next we have the atal ranking of institution on innovation achievements where lp has been ranked third 
and last but not the least the world university rankings 2022 where lp has been ranked 36 among top universities of india the campus life and exposure offered as a student make sure that you gain as much as exposure you can and if I talk about LP students, LP students have got several opportunities to participate in not just national, but international level events as well. So I'll just quickly show you a few of the events which LP students have witnessed till date. The 106th Indian Science Congress with focal theme, Future India, Science and Technology, which was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji. Moving ahead, Nobel Laureate, the 14th Dalai Lama Ji, he was here for the fifth convocation at LPU. Former President of India, Late Sri Pranam Mukherjee, for the convocation twice at LPU. Late Sri Arun Jaitli Ji for the inauguration of LPU Startup School. Some of the familiar faces, a motivational speaker and a life coach, Gaur Gopal Das Ji. Some heartthrobs like Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukun, Sonam Kapoor. Even Coke Studio was organized at LPU. MS Dhoni was here at LPU and several others. So now I'll be quickly showing you the glimpse of the infrastructure, the labs and other facilities which are available for our students inside LPU campus. So this is an inside view of our central library. It has approximately 20 lakh books, not just in online but offline mode as well. LP has two to three amphitheaters where several Nukka Nataks take place, theater acts, etc. An inside view of our Shanti Devi Mittal auditorium with the capacity of 2,500 audience, being the largest in this region. An outside view of our university mall, my favorite place rather I would say. Let's take you inside this university mall. It has all the basic facilities. If I talk about dominoes, dining area, stationeries, clothing, electronic gadgets, whatever you talk about. Apart academics, we want our students to enjoy their academic lives for their leisure time. We have bowling area inside the university hall, a gymnasium for our students. 24 hour facility of hospital and ambulance inside the campus. So now this is an outside view of our Shanti Devi Mittal indoor stadium, which has several sports facilities like a proper Olympic level swimming pool, 10 to 12 badminton courts, shooting area, a beautiful picture clicked by one of our students and a mesmerizing night view of our university campus. So now let's move ahead with the another aspect of our today's introduction, that is the fees, the scholarship and how you can apply for admission. So what you have to do is just simply visit our website www.lpu.in and on the top you will see an icon of admissions where we have segregated all the programs as for your qualification after 12, after 12, after graduation and after post graduation. So as we have students for BTEC CSC, I'll just click on after 12th and all the programs which are available at LPU campus will be available in front of you. So I'll just simply click on engineering, computer science and engineering. And here we have listed all the general and industry collaboration programs, work integrated programs. So I'll just click on this program. Yes. So BTEC honors computer science and engineering, which is entire with Geeks for Geeks. It is a four years program with total eight semesters. And once you scroll down, you can see the eligibility criteria, which clearly states that a student should be passed with 70% aggregate marks in 12th with physics, maths, and English as compulsory subjects. And besides this, the student also need to qualify LPU NIST exam, which is stated as national entrance and scholarship test. Here I would like to mention that this test is not only for eligibility criteria, but it will also help you to avail scholarship. Moving ahead, you can see some of the key highlights, student achievements, the rankings as I have already shared, the curriculum for next four years with the specializations and electives. And now here comes the fees and scholarship part. Although the without scholarship fees for this program goes 1,90,000 per semester, but we have different categories on the basis of its student and avail scholarship. So first up, we have on the basis of J, if you have qualified a J main and you fall and your percentile is more than 85, but less than 90, you will directly fall in category three, that is of 18% and your fees will be reduced to 1,55,800. If not this, if you score between 80 to 89.9 percentage, then also you can avail the scholarship of 18%. Next up, we have 
more than 90 but less than 95 in your JEE mean or 90 to 94 for 9 percentage in your 12th you will directly fall in category 2 that is of 28 percent and your fees will be reduced to 1 lakh 36,800 per semester. Last but not the least if you score 95 or above percentile in JEE mean or if you score 95 percentage or above in your 12th you will directly fall in category 1 that is of 38% and your fees will be reduced to 1,13,800 per semester. Let's say you couldn't score scholarship on any of these bases. You have LP NIST exam as well. The exam will be for 400 marks and this is the tentative cutoff to avail scholarship of category 2, uh, 3, 2 or 1. Moving ahead, we have listed some other details as well. As you can see, there are some other scholarships. Scholarship based on innovation, startup and entrepreneurship. If you have any such achievement, make sure that you share your details with us on our email ID, which is admissions at the rate lpu.co.in. Further, we have financial aid for serving retired, defense, CAPF, paramilitary, personal and their dependents as well. Last but not the least, the important dates, as you can see that the last date to apply for this program and to avail the maximum scholarship benefit is 31st July 2022. And accordingly, further, you will be allotted with exam dates between 6th June to 5th of August. And within 24 working hours, your result will be declared and accordingly, you can proceed for your admissions. In case if you have any queries related to admissions, scholarship or anything, feel free to get in contact us. We have listed our contact details on the right side of the website, the live video counseling icon, schedule a call icon, our WhatsApp team is there for you. And down here we have listed our helpline numbers as well. So I'll just wind up with one last important thing. We have already conducted several informative webinars in past and we will be keep conducting such webinars in the coming future. If you want to enroll yourself or go through the past uh, videos, just simply click on admissions. And on the left side, you'll see an icon of LPU's Edu Fair webinars. So once you click on this, all the details related to the webinars will be right in front of you and accordingly you can register yourself. So I hope, Ms. Ruby, this information was useful for our students and will help them to apply for admissions at LPU. Thank you so much. Over to you. Definitely. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the detailed information about the admission process. And attendees, I must tell you that decisions determine destiny so don't just wait for the last date decide your own dates and take the admission as soon as possible so with this we'll conclude our today's webinar that's all for today thank you attendees for sparing time and participating in today's webinar we appreciate you all for being here and i believe your knowledge has been enriched by this webinar also i would like to express my appreciation to the experts for their valuable contribution on today's webinar. I'm sure your years of research, your years of experience will definitely help the audience to choose the right path. So until next time, I, Ruby Gill, finally start of the session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.